Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. It's been a while. I haven't, oh God, I haven't been even home for almost all of August. So I didn't post anything. And I was in Maine for the first week of August, doing some kayaking, some fishing, some eating, some Maine stuff. Maine is unbelievable. Then I was home for a week, then I was off to Oklahoma and Kansas for two weeks. And I had a neighbor watching my fish. We were doing all kinds of well, things that you do in Kansas and Oklahoma. It was actually a really good time, really good time. And now I'm back. I had my neighbor watching my fish. Everything looks good. And uh, I just want to get a little update and see where we're at. All right, so let's check out the fish room. First thing are these blue angels. I hung a slate in the back and we had a bunch of eggs. Usually, I don't know, these are all a very young young group in here, there's six of them. And usually they eat the eggs eat the eggs right away, but you know, like right, all angels, they figure it out over time. So they're figuring it out. So uh, she's got a, well, him and her, and they got a whole bunch of eggs on the slate. And I'm not doing anything about it because I'm, I had it up to my, my eyeballs in blue angels. So if they make it, they make it. And uh, that's it, we'll see how they do. These are the hardest fish to record because they're in the bow front. I'm trying to catch them from the side here. These guys are doing good. These are the, um, if I don't write things down, the Peruvian altums. And uh, I don't know, they're growing on me. They have very long, you see those long ventral fins that are just hanging down. And uh, their stripes are really dark, but they look, they're almost like, I don't know, I said it before, like a dirty angelfish. So uh, we'll see how they turn out. They don't look too bad. Mm, they're still kicking and these are these guys are good eaters so I'm happy with that they don't grow very fast but they're doing well uh, I can't ask for much more they're doing good these are my best breeding pair of koi angels They've been uh, raising their own fry and stuff like that. And I made a huge mistake here. And what I was doing is once the fly, the fly, the fry were free swimming, at night I would shut the light off. But what happens is when you do that, the fry all go to the bottom. And at the bottom, there's 20 albino quarry cats in here. So what was happening was I'd shut the light off at night all the fry would go to the bottom and get eaten by the cats and I was blaming the parents this whole time but I uh, I could have pulled them and stuff but like I said I was on vacation and yada 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 so I did find two when I got home from vacation so I put them in a little breeder box here so there are two little koi angels in there there's one just take my word for it that the other one's in there somewhere it's in there so that's that and these guys I'm sure they're already staring at the the heater and the uh, that put it to the back so they'll breed soon they always do oh there's the other one yeah it wasn't lying over there Ooh, one two yep. we'll see and uh, those are my best koi angel breeders right there that's a good pair. Yeah, say something nice and you gotta look at me. That's the big daddy. Uh, these guys. These are the Manikapuru angels. What is giving me that glare? Let's try this again. I just did a, a third water change on these guys. For some reason when I got back, uh, I don't know, they, they, I tested the water, everything was fine except for the pH. The pH was very low and they weren't eating, they weren't having it. So I did a 50% water change because I was afraid if I did too much, then I would swing the pH too quick and I would lose them. So I did a 50% and the next day I did like an 80 or 75%, something like that. And then today, this is all within a span, I got home, so I started doing it Sunday, today's Wednesday. 
So in four days, I changed the water three times. I just did a big water change now, more than, you know, like probably 80%. I try to get, you know, I tested, let me see. I'll show you my test trips. Hang on a second. I don't know if you guys ever watched Tropical Fish Hub. This guy, he's like an expert on altums and manicaporas, uh, discus, all that type of stuff. So I like to go to his stuff to pick his brain. So I asked him a question today about the uh, pH and he said to check the nitrates and did. And let's see if I can show it on here. Yeah, everything was everything was fine except for the pH on here was very. Well, this is this one, so it's lower than or about. It's probably six or lower, lower than six. But my nitrates and nitrates, everything was money. And uh, this is I got this at a. Uh, What was it? Uh, you know, the fish club. Some guy came to give us a talk, and this is from I think this is from Germany. And these strips are supposed to be super accurate. And so far, you know, you know, I test them against other stuff, and they're very, very good. These are not your uh, your average test strips. Where to get these? I have no idea. It's called Aquavital Multi Test. I guess you can Google it and see if you can grab them if you want them. Uh, Aqua Munster is the brand that picking up there or whatever so anyhow the only thing I could find with testing is you know the fish don't look bad it's hard to tell they don't look sick they don't look you know like they get issues so hopefully I straighten this pH out and the only issue they have is they're not eating so and they only eat blood worms so wherever I got, whoever raised these fish before me, only fed them bloodworms, and I tried to get them onto anything else but bloodworms, and they will not take it. So I don't want to just clog this tank with flakes and crap, and have them not eat that, and then I have to a whole another issue to deal with. So the bloodworms are actually on the cleaner end when it comes to food. So anyhow, that's where I am with these guys. So I want to do a I'll do a full video on the Manicapuru when when they get these guys straightened out. They're doing a little better. They seem to be using more than the back corner of the tank. They, whenever I put the light on, they hide back there. But before I put the light on, they were out and about. So fingers crossed, I think they're doing better. So we'll get to those guys at, an, at another time. So uh, wish me luck with these guys. They look pretty. All right, I'm running out of time here. We'll get to the rest of this. I don't know, maybe later on in the week if I have a chance. We still have the Corys and the tails and some what are these things endlers and guppies and stuff like that so uh, we'll leave these where are they these two little birds to do their thing with their eggs and then now uh, we'll see I don't know in two days they'll probably eat them what are you gonna do nah I don't know till next time see you guys later bye